Suresh Kumar, thank you very much for being with us on WPC TV. You are in the Department of Agriculture at the University of Delhi, and you've just been taking part in a workshop on agro-industry in Africa. What does Africa need in terms of its agricultural um, future? For agriculture, because we are moving towards from the subsistence farming to the sustainable development, African farmer needs today uh, a small, small technology right from the irrigation facilities to, to infrastructure, uh, the road buildings, railways, to the cold store facilities, along with the better seeds and better fertilizers. This is the one part of the agriculture development. And uh, after that, then if they get good market, then it will be really good for the sustainable development. Coming to uh, that Africa and the world, then my suggestion is that let's initiate with the private investors with the 70-30% policy. 70 they can uh, produce for the export, 30% uh, produce should be used within the Africa or African regional market. That will give a, a, a slogan, remove poverty or end to poverty, that, then the slogan will be fulfilled only with this configuration, 70-30%. And if we see the, uh, the economics, within 30%, Africa will be food sustainable, they will be green revolution and then there will be uh, no poor people or no people die with starvation. This 30% is sufficient for the local people needs for the production and that will cater the African regional market as well. It's a wonderful vision but if you're talking about exports in the, of that size, isn't there going to be a problem of protectionism in, for example, Japan, in common agricultural policy in Europe, in the United States and so on? No, uh, as far as the protectionism is concerned, we have to come out of that because the Asian countries, they are already talking about the rewrite intellectual property rights. This will help uh, for the global governance as well. Because when, we are, when I'm saying the 70 percent, uh, for example, any private investment uh, investor is coming to Africa, it, it, uh, that company is not coming for charity. They are coming with a certain uh, purpose. They need some profit as well. It is genuine. It is good, but it is good for both. The 70 and 30, it will really fantastically, it will work with the rewrite of intellectual rights, with coming uh, from that well to open up policies then it will be go for the inclusive governance, global development, global governance. Surish Kumar, thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.